Hello everyone. Let me show you today how to sync your Google Contacts into either your iPad, iTouch, or iPhone. It's all the same procedure. And no matter what firmware operating system you have, whether it's 4.0, 5.0, whatever. So let's go into your settings. Next, you're gonna go into your mail and contacts. What you're gonna do, you're gonna add a new account. So yeah, what we would do right away is jump to the Gmail, but it's not gonna be Gmail in this case. It's gonna be the Microsoft Exchange. This is what's gonna allow you to sync your contacts. And every time you sync, like you sync your email, it will sync your contacts back to the server as well, to the Google contacts. So I'm just putting in my email. Oops, sorry, I wasn't looking for a second. You're gonna enter, leave the domain line. So if you see the domain line right there, you're gonna leave that blank for now. You're gonna enter your username Your username will be, like in my email, it's juankanan at gmail.com. It's only going to be the first part before the Gmail part. So, once you do that, enter your password. Sorry, guys, just give me one second. Okay. So, once you enter your password, you're going to click on Next. So now it's going to say, what's the server name? That's that little line that pops up right there. I don't know, it will be the same way in every single one device, but it pops up as soon as you finish entering that part of the information. You're going to enter m.google.com. So again, that's m.google.com. Once you enter that, press next. It's going to verify each one of them and you're going to tell it what is that you want it to sync. You don't want your email through this because if you want, you could just sync your email through the regular Gmail option that they have. You're going to put that you want your contacts, so you're going to turn that on. And here's going to say existing local contacts. What would you like to do with them? You know, keep them on my iPad. You could have the option of deleting them. And calendars, I don't need calendars. I could do that through the regular Gmail account. So you need to turn on your Google contacts. I mean, your contacts for this new account that you're adding. Then you're going to press save. It's going to verify everything. And voila. So the way it adds it, you see right here, it says exchange contacts. It's only there for contacts. That's it. Um, if you want, you could edit the name by going into it and just what's the name of the account the description just change it to let's say Google contacts that way you have an idea that that's the one that you have just for your contacts press done and done again and that's it so now if you would go into your contacts There you go. It should have all your contacts that you had from Google. I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just let me know.